today I'm going to be showing you how you can run Android on your Mac. And I don't mean directly, I mean running it in a virtual machine. So first of all, you need two apps. You need Jenny Motion, and you also need VirtualBox, which I both have installed. VirtualBox is required for all Jenny Motion's virtual machine emulator to work. So first of all, you need to download these two. I'll put the links in the description. So Jenny Motion is lo loading right there. I don't have a virtual device, so I'm just going to add a new one. So you just need to sign in. You also need to make your own account, so keep that in mind. It's for free. I'm using the free free version of Jenny Motion for personal use. So anyway, as you can see here, I've signed in and we got lots of virtual devices and you got Android's versions 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4.4, 5.0, 5 and 5.1. So as you can see, you can also get an old as old as 2.3.7, which is Android Gingerbread. For one for old for old kind of you know old devices like the Sony Xperia S, Galaxy S2, those ones. Let's go into 4.3, which is Android Jelly Bean, and we're going to pick on the. You know what? I'll just go with a custom tablet. Actually, no. I'm just going. I'm going straight to Android 5.0, which is one of the latest versions, API 21. I'm going to choose tablet because I prefer it on tablet. I'm going to call it. Android tablet 5.0 next and it's gonna download the file so this might take some time so I'll just let it wait okay so now it has finished downloading I'm going to carry on so as you can see I've named it Android tablet 5.0 I'm just gonna change the settings so it will run in full screen it's running in 5.0 lollipop by the way so now let's begin It will take a while to start up initially, but it it's using the VirtualBox engine, and keep that in mind. Starting virtual device. It goes in full screen, as you can see. Android. This is the 5.0 Android startup screen. As you can see on the bottom, free for personal use. Oh, that was quick. So we got the Tree Bucket Launcher, which is Android F Lollipop's main launcher. So welcome wallpaper widgets and settings, got it. So as you can see, we got the, this is the main home screen of the device that you're using. So, and since I don't like this wallpaper, I insist on changing it. So you just go into wallpapers and I'm going to change it to phase beam. Just because I like live wallpapers better. And I can also add widgets as you can see. So I'm just going to add the digital clock here. Create widgets and allow access. Yes, please. Now, here's the notifications area. So you can have all these quick notifications. Notice there's no Bluetooth on it. You can adjust brightness, which doesn't even do anything. You can check out how much cellular data you're using. And you can also switch accounts as well, which is really good. Now, as you can see, we got a small problem here. There's no Google Apps, so how can you download apps? I think I know just the answer. So as you can see, there are no Google Apps installed, like I said. So this is basically pure stock Android. There is no... There are no skins, no mods, nothing like that, except for a super user mod. So now I'm going to install Google Apps into the system. So I'm just going to go back into Finder. And as you can see, I got Google Apps for Lollipops. So all you need to do is drag it into the virtual machine. You need to wait a few moments. And then it should work. 
And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to check out all the other applications, like the messaging app. Looks a lot like the Jelly Bean one, because it actually is one. We got the phone app, which really looks with the new material design. It's an American phone number, but besides that, it's in material design. We got the browser, so I could just search up www.sony.com. And it should come up with Sony's website. Yeah, it will. Okay, as you can see, Google Apps is a flashable, which I'm going to flash right now. It should take a while to flash, but besides that, you should start seeing new applications. Notice that you have to restart for it to all work, by the way. So successfully flashed. I'm just going to quit the virtual device. Just press Command Q if you're in full screen or just close the window if you're in a window and restart. So it's initializing again. And with Google Apps, you actually can down, literally download apps from the App Store. Not all apps work, such as Instagram or Snapchat, but most work. So then again, we got Android optimizing applications at this point because since you flashed a new archive, it needs to op since you flashed a new binary such as Google Apps, it needs to optimize all the applications. So that this will take take a while, like a few minutes or so. So anyway, I just finished installing Google Apps and this is how it looks. So now we got lots of more apps such as Google, Google Plus, Hangouts, Maps, Play Music, Play Store. This is where you can download all any app from the Google Play Store. Well, most of the apps actually. So we can check out the top selling top apps like Facebook, Spotify, eBay, Clash of Clans, Subway Surfers, you name it. But like I said before that some apps like Instagram won't work. I don't know why, but it just doesn't work. We got apps designed for tablets, remote controls for TVs, Two hundred four eight extended, and as you can see in the quick settings, we're downloading Google Plus. Let's check out the settings menu. So as you can see, pure old lollipop. We can go to about tablet, model number Android tablet five point zero. We can just open the Easter egg right here. Yeah, that's the Easter egg. And you can also do the press that square and then you can check through all your apps to see which ones you want to open and close. It's a little bit harder to do, I just press the X's because this is ta this is basically a tablet mode. You know this this application will work much better on tablets. You better you must admit that. So as you can see, we got, we're going to go to dev settings, which basically comes with Jenny motions, which all it does is gives you developer options. We can go over here and then we can search something up on Google now. So yes, I'm in. Oh, and it crashed. Notice that this is in exactly day to day use, but you can get some apps on there like Google Drive. I'm also, it didn't come with Chrome, but I'm going to get Chrome soon. So we also got YouTube, new version later. Oh, Goog even Google Plus crashed. Don't know why. But otherwise, it's pretty good. You can download most apps from the Google Play Store. And this is how you can run Android on a virtual machine on your Mac or your PC for that matter, or even Linux. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. I will be putting down the links for Genymotion, Genymotion, VirtualBox and the Google Apps. So keep, 
So just you just have to check the description and you'll have all three links. So thanks for watching guys and see you all in my next video.